Welcome back to our channel. Today we have an extraordinary topic to discuss. The last words of former Barcelona legend Luis Suarez. This influential striker has left an indelible mark on the football world, and it's now time to explore the fascinating insights he shared before leaving the club. So let's dive right into this unparalleled journey of emotions, passion, and determination. Before we delve into our world, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible career of Luis Suarez. Luis Alberto Suarez Diaz is a Uruguayan expert footballer who plays as a striker for Campeonato Brasileiro Serie A club Gremio and the Uruguay Public Group. Suarez is regarded as one of the greatest strikers of all time. He has won two European Golden Shoes, a Eredivisie Golden Boot, a Premier League Golden Boot, and a Pichichi Trophy. He is also known as El Pistolero or the Gunman. Suarez is known for his vision, his finishing both inside and outside the box, and his finishing. Suarez started his senior club career at the Nacional in 2005 and has since scored over 500 goals for a club in the country. He signed with Groningen when he was 19 years old, but in 2007 he moved to Ajax. There, he won the KNVB Cup and the Eurodevice. Suarez joined Liverpool, a Premier League team, in 2001. In his first full season, he won the League Cup. In 2014, he won his first European Golden Shoe and equaled the Premier League goal-scoring record for a 38-game season after forming a strike partnership with Daniel Sturridge. That late spring, Suarez moved to Barcelona in exchange worth £64.98 million, making him one of the most costly players ever. Suarez, dubbed MSN, was a dominant trio with Lionel Messi and Neymar that won the UEFA Champions League, Copa del Rey, and La Liga in his first season. Suarez became the first player since 2009 to win both the Pichichi Trophy and the European Golden Shoe in his second season. He also led La Liga in assists, becoming the first player in league history to do so in both goals and assists. While playing for Barcelona, Suarez won 10 additional trophies, including 3 Copa del Rey titles and 3 La Liga titles. He finished paperwork for Atletico Madrid in 2020, bringing home his 5th La Liga championship in his presentation season. At goal level, Suarez is both Uruguay's unequal driving goal scorer as well as the record-breaking top scorer of the FIFA World Cup qualifiers in Colmebol. He has addressed his country at four releases of the FIFA World Cup and four versions of Copa America as well as 2012 Summer Olympics and the 2013 FIFA Confederations Cup. He was a member of the 2010 World Cup All-Star team and won the Copa America in 2011 where he was honored with the Best Player Award. In addition to his football credentials, Suarez has been a source of controversy throughout his career. Some examples include a goal line handball against Ghana at the 2010 FIFA World Cup, three instances of biting opponents, allegations of diving, racial incidents, and more. On 11th of July 2014, Suarez concurred with Barcelona on a five year contract for an undisclosed exchange charge, notwithstanding, as per a spill report by football releases, the expense was £64.98 million, making him quite possibly the most costly player in world football history. Barca affirmed Suarez would wear the number 9 shirt for the 2014 2015 season. Suarez missed the initial segment of the time subsequent to being viewed as at fall for gnawing Italian player Giorgio Cellini at 2014 FIFA World Cup. As a feature of the suspension, he was restricted from all football-related exercises, including preparing for Barcelona for a very long time. He was likewise restricted from entering any arena, even as an observer, during the equivalent period. On 24th of July, Suarez and his legal counselors documented an allure with the Court of Discretion for game and mentioned the approvals be diminished or the suspension be lifted. The gatherings were heard at a meeting at the CES workspace in Lausanne, Switzerland on 8th of August. Six days after the fact, the CES affirmed the boycott forced by FIFA against Suarez, who stayed suspended from football for quite a long time, as well as a nine-match boycott in internationals. The first was served in Uruguay's round of 16 match against Colombia in the 2014 World Cup. Notwithstanding, the CAS eliminated the player's football-related exercises boycott and he was permitted to prepare with Barcelona. Suarez was disqualified for participating in Copa America in 2015. Suarez was allowed to play in friendly matches by the CAS. On August 18, he made his Barcelona debut against Club Leon of Mexico at the Camp Nou. He took Rafinha's place for the final 14 minutes of a 6-0 win in the Gamper Trophy. By the time Suarez took the field, fellow forwards Lionel Messi and Neymar had already been taken off. Suarez made his cutthroat presentation for Barcelona on 25th of October, beginning an assault with Messi and Neymar away to Genoa Madrid in El Clasico. Despite the fact that he set up Neymar for the initial objective in the fourth moment, Suarez was subbed in the final part and Barcelona lost 
He scored his most memorable objective for the club on 26 of November in a 4-0 win at a pole in the UEFA Championship Association bunch stage. On 20th of December, he scored his first association objective for the club in quite a while, 8th La Liga match adding to the 5-0 home win against Cordoba. Suarez scored twice as Barca defeated English champions Manchester City 2-1 in the first leg of their UEFA Championship League round of the 16th match. On March 4, he scored in Barcelona's 3-1 Copa del Rey semi-final win over Villarreal to qualify the club for his 37th Spanish Cup final. On March 8, Suarez scored twice in a 6-1 home win over Rayo Vallecano. On March 22, Suarez scored the he-can-choose games. He is a pure scorer who can only require minimal finishing. On 15th of April, Suarez scored two objectives in a 3-1 UEFA Champions Association quarter, the last first leg triumph over Paris Holy Person Germain at the Parc des Princes. He nutmegged PSG protector David Luiz two times prior to scoring both goals. On the 2nd of May, he scored his most memorable full goal around for the club in an 8-0 win at Cordoba. On the 12th of May, Suarez put forth up both Neymar's objectives in the second leg of Barcelona's UEFA Championship Association semi-last tie as they proceeded to win 5-3 on the total against Bayern Munich. Suarez scored in the Bosses Association last against Juventus on 6th of June in Berlin, returning the group to the lead in a possible 3-1 win by changing over the bounce back after Buffon saved from Messi. The success fixed a high pitch for the team. Suarez finished his most memorable season at Barcelona with 25 objectives and 20 aids all competitions. The Barcelona going after a triple out of Messi, Suarez and Neymar, named MSN, finished with 122 objectives, the most in a season for a going after threesome in Spanish football history. On August 11, 2015, Suarez scored and assisted on a goal in Barcelona's 5-4 extra time win over Sevilla in the 2015 UEFA Super Cup. On October 31, he scored his 300th career goal in a 2-0 away win against Hitafi after being assisted by a back heel from Sergio Roberto. On December 17, he scored all three goals as Barcelona defeated Chinese club Guangzhou Evergrande 3-0 in the 2015 FIFA Club World Cup semi-final. After three days, he scored one more four objectives in a 6-0 home win over Brandishing Yijon, turning into the main player to score multiple times in consecutive matches throughout the entire existence of La Liga. On 30th of April, Suarez turned out to be just the second player throughout the entire existence of the club to arrive at the achievement of 35 objectives in solitary association season. Beyond the trophies and records, Suarez's last words revealed his deep understanding of the game and the lessons he learned throughout his career. Additionally, he highlighted the cherished relationships he formed during his time at Barcelona. Football has been my life, and I've learned that every setback is an opportunity for growth. Barcelona taught me resilience, determination, and the importance of teamwork. Each player, each coach, and each staff member has played a crucial role in shaping the person I am today. I hold a special bond with Lionel Messi, not just on the field, but also as a dear friend. Our partnership was more than striking goals. It was a mutual understanding and a shared ambition. To have played alongside Messi has been an honor beyond words. With his last words, Luis Suarez left an everlasting impact on Barcelona, its fans, and the football community as a whole. His humility, gratitude, and unwavering commitment to excellence were the hallmarks of his legacy. As we bid farewell to this legendary player, let us continue to celebrate the extraordinary achievements he brought to the beautiful game. Thank you for joining us today. Until next time, keep chasing your dreams and embracing the magic of football.